board is nobody wants to obligate their general funds. Mm -hmm. And so if we're all trying to protect our general funds, then you have to look at what other sources, or you may want to obligate your general funds because it's beneficial. But that's what I'm trying to get the jurisdictions to come forward with is how much money do they realistically, general funds, CFD, other uh, strategies that they're going to generate. Because actually, I really think you have to have that. <coughs> we know we can attain this much money realistically because you're paying it down each year because you're not going to generate enough funds on this endowment in the first year. It's going to be, that's what Ellen is going to model for us. So you have to have that number to start with of realistic that maybe it's 25 million or 29 million. Now we're asking simultaneously from the agencies, look at, we're working with you. Help us get here. We know this is how much money we're going to have. I think those both need to happen, like all of us having an understanding of what we realistically are going to put forward mm -hmm. or you're committing your general fund. So, right away. So cost okay. and funding on January 31st. Okay. Okay. Costs of the reduced footprint. No, you're going to have your money to, okay. Yes. Well, I would do it oh, the well. 17th. I want to know what everybody thinks they're going to generate. So, so okay. one thing one thing that I can add to, to that, because we heard you when you asked that back in December, yeah. and we asked EPS to do an initial model uh, based on the idea of uh, the CFD rate continuing, kind of your $8,000 a unit, with entitled and unentitled development and what that would generate. That's okay, right? Great. So, 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 well, no, we don't quite yet. Right, so that is something that we can uh, shoot to bring back, though, right? I mean, yeah. close to that. What that model doesn't have, which is where we need input from the jurisdictions with entitled development, is whether or not there are any hooks like um, the city of Marina has with their entitled development to compel participation. Yeah. So okay. we're in sort of a pure entitled versus unentitled, but we need to know what are the nuances Okay, and, and I think that's that's key information that we can get. But to, to get make an initial cut, right. can't we look at at just the level of pure entitled Absolutely. and unentitled yes. plan according to what the information we have, and then we can shake and then we can sh go from there because we do have that started. So I think we could bring that to this meeting. Okay, Ian. That was the 17th. Well, what I want to get to is, I think we can share with everybody else is, how many of you are trying to get with the agenda? You know, I, I don't think we need to be laying out the agenda three weeks from now. Uh, you know, I, I just don't think we need to be locking ourselves in conversations. But it was a good point that finance, you know, the consultants can be working on some of these answers, and they can be feeding the jurisdiction's questions they need, and we need to give them answers so they can be working on it in between. Right. And then it's just write them down and we read them, but we put them on the agenda so we can talk about it for 20 minutes when it's really just questions that each jurisdiction and uh, other entity needs to make their own internal decisions about how they want to sign these agreements. All of us, we don't need to talk among ourselves as a group about the internal information we will use to base our signature on the agreements with. So I, I just want to, as we move along over the next several weeks, we change it all down with those kind of in the weeds for not discussions yeah. for the group, right? It only may affect three or four of us. Okay, I think that's a great point. I was going to just, just reiterate what you said. <clears throat> when we have a meeting with the regulators, there's going to be a tremendous amount of information and options that come out of that. So, my suggestion would be I think the two that you have scheduled are appropriate. I would stop there and see what comes out of these next two. Okay. And at the end of each meeting, I guarantee you, you're going to have additional question, concerns, or options. So if we just agendize, like at the end of the, uh, the next meeting, to look at the yeah. meeting yeah. on the 21st, but okay. like two weeks out. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't get over your skis on that. Otherwise. Great. Is everyone in agreement with that yes. approach? I'm happy with that. <coughs> and, and a yep. co-chair? Yep, yep. Okay. Well, I think part of what we thought was that at the end of each meeting, we would set the agenda for the next Recess. one. So um, uh, trying to get an idea of the, making sure that we were we had a way to cover the big topics. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so that was the idea of kind of laying it out in advance so the information people that we're going to be asking could sort of see and say, no, I can't do it that fast, or yes, I'll be there, and whatever, um, so that we kind of know where we're going. But it is true that uh, the discussion on any one of these days could end up where we say, okay, next time, no, we don't want to talk about what we said we were going to, we're, we want to go more on this. So it's just, it's tentative, um, but the idea was to let it, see if we had a way to really delve into the major topics. So if, if people are comfortable stopping here, um, you know, yeah. that's bite size yeah. chunks. Bite size chunks. Because this is a huge thing. And I uh, just want to say I appreciate everybody yeah. uh, working this way today. I think it was productive. We got a lot of information out. Our team will capture all the pictures of all this information, try to coalesce it. We've got support from RGS and we'll be back out with, to you on Tuesday with uh, the agenda and the questions for the regulators and uh, that'll be Minutes, agenda, and questions. Minutes, agenda, and questions coming Tuesday, and I think with that we could uh, get Wendy's the last point. Time. The time of the meeting. 9 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Uh, well, they all are currently scheduled for 10. Until noon. I 10 mean, to noon. So we can bracket our calendars. Yes, 10, 10 to 12 to every Friday, and uh, somebody will start buying lunch for everybody after that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, with that. I see. Yeah. Wait, Thank you. Um, oh, oh, I will. Well, just before oh, the, uh, on the agenda, we did have uh, an action item, which was to approve the draft schedule. That would just be a nod from the elected four <laughs> board members to um, say if that's okay. So, uh, unless there's an objection, nod. I will figure uh, out the nodding uh, is uh, uh, happening. Uh, happening. Okay. Nodding, but not nodding. Okay. Right. Good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's your birthday on February 28th. So oh, right. Okay. Well, let's sing a happy birthday. Yes. 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 Yes.